It was um, Chris Surety from Coma asked if I'd be interested in writing a piece. They, their preference was if, if it was somehow related to the issue of refugees. I work a lot with refugees, people creatively, trying to get them to write songs, poetry. So I made a selection of texts and bits of music that have been created uh, by various refugee communities around the world and then constructed that into a kind of picture of maybe how refugees feel, uh, you know, in different situations, I hope. Mm -hmm. It's their words, anyway, at least. And we travel much of the world. It's the heart of it is where I'm working at the moment, in Lebanon, in the, on the Syrian border, Syrian refugees, their lives. But we also go to East Africa, actually to a situation that has now much improved in North Uganda. We travel also to a situation that's got a lot worse in Southeast Asia, Myanmar. And we're in Bosnia-Herzegovina. Interestingly enough, we're the returnee refugee. Uh, it's a story or a, a, a poem, a song, about how a girl returns home as a refugee. You know, one of the uh, poems that ends with the kids from, I work with in Syrian kids in, in Lebanon in the camps, you know, swimming, I am swimming. Uh, and, you know, the story of, I, I don't know where I am, I'm floating, my feet can't touch the ground, but I can see the sunlight dancing on the water. There the, the, can be joy in the moment. Some people would see music and the arts as being a luxury. These are people who need food, they need shelter. Mm -hmm. So what is it that you think that music and, well, and the arts bring? Yes, I, mean, I think, first of all, a lot of people are uh, rapid to make judgments on the basis of prejudice. And the first thing, of course, would be to ask the people themselves. And I remember working, say, in Bosnia, where we developed a lot of these methods, early 1990s, and often was told, what are you doing, you know, some kind of arts love you going into this, you know, war zone, making a nuisance of yourself, getting in the way of the people doing the real job. And if you listen to what people said, was well, no, no, that's what we want. We don't want the failed support program. You know, you've not defended us, you've not fed us. And by the way, we did feed people. In, in our project in Mostar, we had a project, music and bread. We baked bread and we made music. So we, we fed both parts of people. So people should ask people on the ground about this, not, not carry their prejudices from their comfortable living rooms into the lives of other people. It's about, hum it's about being human and humanity as well, yes, isn't yes, it? What yes, makes, yes. us, makes us human? Yeah, but it was something we, we lack. We've become so comfortable and so ensconced in our you know, rather trivial little world that we've created in the Western world mm -hmm. now that people seem to be less and less able in my life to people have become less able to understand how other people might feel.